Hey guys, it's Mitty here, and a couple things before we get into this match. Now, first of all, like I said, if you like this video and you want to see more of these, then you can just leave a like down below. It helps me out, and it, let me, it lets me know that you guys enjoy my content. Another thing is that I am going to be doing an LP alongside Magnitude, and we're we're gonna do we're not I'm not gonna let you know what it is yet, but we're doing an LP together, and that is going to be going up on my channel, and his is gonna be going up on his, but we're gonna be basically uploading them the same days and correlating, and it's gonna be a really fun LP. Now the reason why I had to take down the Wonderlock is because of copyright reasons, and things that I have no idea how to fix but apart from that I'm trying to work around it to the best of my ability so aside from that we can get into the battle the battle I use um, this battle is actually really really old I had it probably like three months ago on a stream I had so I did uh, use Galvantula here a lot that's back when I still like thought sticky web was actually pretty good and i mean it still is a good entry hazard to have however uh easily spun away by rapid spin easily get it get it get it easily gotten rid of with defog so i stopped using it because i felt like it was a waste of a pokemon so i went into my age slash this is a little beauty that i bred on my own and it was the only shiny that i hatched and encountered so far so i went for a sacred sword here after he sent in his Lucario because I knew Lucario could not really do much to Age Slash. I almost take out the Shuckle there. He does Power Split. I'm like, all right, not really sure what that does, but uh, I guess I'm just gonna hit you one more time and take you out regardless of what that did. So I just did take a lot, a lot, a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet over there. And now he goes into Aerodactyl. I'm assuming he went into Aerodactyl so he could Mega and then Earthquake me. So I decide to be the the douchebag who uses King Shield and wastes turns and ends up, you know, protecting. Hey, earthquake! And then you know, well, we're gonna just stay in defense form and just you know be a, be a little pussy behind defense form. But no, no, no! I end up dying anyway, and I feel like that was I ha I felt like, hey, I can just like get rid of Aegislash, Slash, I guess you know. Although I felt like I still needed to, to keep it around for Lucario, but. Gudra comes in and I'm just like, all right, I mean, not honestly the best idea that I had. I did give him some drops with Gooey, so now this is when I still also use Slurpuff. Slurpuff, uh, not sure how I feel about this Pokemon yet, but I went for Play Rough hoping uh, he would stay in. Obviously, he's not going to stay in, but he goes into Roserade and I'm just like... Uh, this sucks, so I'm just bringing back Slurpuff and going into my Tyranitar, assuming he was going to want to go for a uh, Poison-type attack. And he goes for Sludge Bomb, considering Tyranitar is a special beast, and it's not very effective. I get Poison, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We still have a whole lot of battling to go, so Tyranitar does get Poison. However, I know, even if like he had Leaf Storm, I'm not fearing that, because it's not going to Oko me. So I just Mega Evolve here, and he has Petal Dance of all moves to have. I'm like, ooh, that's, that's new. I'm just like, I'll set up Stealth Rock right now, because you're doing a lot of switching, and and you know might help me out plus I I kind of end up sacking Tyranitar at this point to be honest because just one more attack is gonna take me out but I still got rocks up and I could bring in Talonflame now and scare him out because there's no way he's gonna stay in on Talonflame and I wanted to get Talonflame in at full health so I bring in Talonflame and I swords dance assuming he was gonna switch out but he went for a pedal dance and stayed in. I'm like, hmm, that's that's really interesting. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, okay. I sword dance because I knew he had one more turn of pedal dance. I forgot that was that that was basically like outrage. So I used that to get a sword dance up. He's gonna end up switching out now, which I guess it's all right. But I'm just gonna end up going for a brave bird, right? Not brave bird. Uh, acrobatics. This is uh, acrobatics that I run. I prefer it just because I really dislike taking all the recoil. It does sacrifice power, but personally, it's the set I love to run. And I also like that I got some rocks up because now Aerodactyl's, Aerodactyl's done to uh, acrobatics as well. So don't got to worry about that. Now Lucario comes in. Lucario, Lucario scares me because 
if he mega evolves i don't like mega lucario but i'm just gonna go for acrobatics it is neutral damage but i'm like yeah it takes it out hell yeah so now he goes into kingdra Kingdra ain't got nothing on Talonflame either. I mean, he can hit me with a water type attack if he lives the acrobatics, which he's not. So, Talonflame, Talonflame, my bro, my my eagle of justice, as I call him in one of my drunk episodes, uh, does so much work and it just it ends up being a sweep. But it was it was a fun battle. I just kind of took something that I had off of the stream and I figured maybe you guys will enjoy it. Some post narrations once in a while, and I do I do 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 want to get back to uh, streaming at least maybe once every few weeks it's it's a very busy schedule that i have so i'm not entirely sure but i will try my best but as always you guys have a fantastic day and i love you all so very very much and hearts all the way and uh as always i love you all so very much and bye